Hello, hello, and welcome to the first episode of Final Fantasy 13. I just beat Final Fantasy 16, and I am still in a mood for some Final Fantasy. It has been forever since I played 13, and I really enjoyed it. And uh, I want to revisit it and go through it again. So here we are. Uh, this will have a review at the end of it. And uh, I think the only thing I plan to really cut out is any sort of grinding that I do. I remember uh, last time I played, I did a lot of grinding against um, Adamantoises. Um, but, so that part will probably be cut out. But for the most part, it's going to be uncut. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to let it go through the opening here. Oh, God. I accidentally pressed the rubber button. Anyway, I guess we'll just go. Um, Final Fantasy XIII has kind of a notorious reputation for being bad, but I really liked it, so I don't know. Um, I don't agree, you know. Uh, but maybe my opinion will have changed. I haven't played this in... 10-ish years, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's get to it. Yes. days after we awoke were the beginning of the end. Serious? Be quiet. <laughs> Best of luck.
Oh boy. Run! I bet away! <laughs> God, it's so clean. Last time I played this was on the PS3. time battle tutorial uh we can skip the tutorial i know how to play and it's not like it's that hard to be frank. There's something about this game that's just so chill. I'm sorry I don't have much to say. At least not right now, because this is just like... Oh my goodness, it's so easy. I, j I just press auto battle. That's it. This game... I love this game. I really do. Um, but it has one of the slowest starts of any Final Fantasy games. That's saying a lot, because a lot of them have had really slow starts. Okay, I'm probably going to have to heal. Oh boy. Civilians, soldier. I mean, you are sanctum, aren't you? What are you doing trying to stop the purge? Why don't you tell me that? I was a soldier. Hey, where do you think you're going? Man. Chocobo, we just can't catch a break, can we? Nope. Yeah, that's a good question. I really do feel like uh, 
Final Fantasy 13 is like okay, Nega Control. Uh no. No. Okay. Okay. You sure we can get through here? No oh, goodness. All right. Save. You save data. Yep. Uh, let me look at. I remember. Gamepad controls. Okay. Command and Q. Cancel. Initiate gestalt mode once an Eidolon has been summoned. It's not what I want. Confirm a selection. Camera. Da, da, da. Am I crazy? Isn't there supposed to be like a... Like a... Way to smack things? Before you enter in combat with them? Or am I thinking of something else? Uh, many and various enemies stalk the roads that you must travel. Upon entering an enemy's detection radius, the mini map in the upper right corner of the screen will flash in warning. Coming into contact with any enemy will initiate a battle. Okay. camera is kind of moving left to right without me doing anything and it's really disorienting I have to say I don't remember that I'll get used to it I suppose but but like I said this has one of the worst intros of a Final Fantasy ever I think there are two major things wrong with this game that I would definitely agree with as criticisms. And the first is the intro being shit. And the second is the claustrophobic nature of it. Uh, a lot of people call that claustrophobic shit um, linearity. And the people who say that don't understand what linearity is. I mean, yes, it's a line, so it is linear in that sense. But, you know, every single Final Fantasy f follows, like, an A to B to C formula. It's not like uh, Legend of Zelda, where, you know, you can go straight to the final boss at the end. There's a story you progress through, and stories inherently lend themselves to linearity. But, that's a big but, with Final Fantasy, you don't want to feel kind of boxed in. And that's what this does, this hallway shit it's it it's it's bad it's not great i won't pretend that it's great you know
Those ratings mean nothing. Absolutely nothing. Two potions. Wait a minute. Shop, you say? To death, he says. Unicorn Mart. Buy potions and Phoenix Downs for now. Car. Okay. Come here. I feel almost like this game is so chill that you could do a, uh, like an ASMR playthrough of it. I'm not very good at that kind of thing, but there's an idea for you. I mean, if you're, uh, if you're making videos. Because it's very chill. Ooh, Iron Bangle. One thing that kind of blows, I mean, I've mentioned a few things, but one thing that really blows is that if the main character dies, I like how they frame that, um, like if lightning dies, then it's game over, no matter what. That was something that they definitely fixed in 13.2. I think 13, the, the, the 13 trilogy is definitely underrated. I'm going to be talking about that a lot throughout this playthrough. You know, where this fits in the Pantheon. Um, I definitely wouldn't... I like 13. I really do. I'm going to say that a lot. But I definitely wouldn't rank it among, like, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8, Final Fantasy 9. You know, like, the, that that golden era. It's It's definitely not in that realm. But it's not, like, fucking... D tier. Like everyone pretends that it is. Yeah, I know how to use items. The only thing I may need a refresher on is the, um, Paradigm shift stuff. But even then, I don't really need a refresher on it. God, the character animation, the facial animation is just top fucking notch. 
in some ways, I kind of like it more than 16. I'm very expressive. I should probably heal. Probably do that again. Yeah, keeping... Keeping lightning healed is very, very important. It's the only bit of real difficulty the game has. Any other character can die, that's fine. Just bring him back with Phoenix down. I'm not going to make a new save data for every single thing seems to be in working order hey fellas Okay, what is attack chain? Let's view the tutorial. To initiate attack chain, first select auto battle or attack from the village menu. Choose the Psycom Marauder as your target. Uh, see the bar beneath the target's name that is known as a chain gauge. Now change gauge as you strike. When you attack an enemy, its chain gauge fills. Hit home and the percentage beneath increases. For instance, it's called the chain bonus. The more times you hit me, the more damage it will take from subsequent attacks. Continuing, uh, continue pummeling the Psycho Marauder, boosting your chain. But, oh, okay, I know what they're talking. I know what this is. I can just use attack. Once the chain gauge is full. Uh, one further blow will stagger your foe. Staggered enemy takes greater damage when attacked. Chaining attacks to stagger powerful adversaries is essential to defeating them. Be aware, however, that an enemy's chain gauge begins to drain the moment it is staggered. Credit ship. Not sure what that does. No soldier. What's your angle? What? Classified military info? Huh? What's the matter? You quit, didn't you? Well, did you think I'm gonna go out there and just tell everybody your secret? LC. My angle. I'm after the foul sea.
still happy you tagged along. More like extermination. Huge. You stay here. So sorry. I didn't mean to. These people need heroes. Here. You keep your cool, and they will too. You got it? Got it. What's our motto? The army's no match for Nora. That a boy. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Oh, there's a thing. Oh boy, a whole 50 gil. Thank you. Say there's so much saving. Good lord. Um yeah. Uh, this is crazy. I feel like those are horrible. Really? Can I? Sure. And when we're taking a dirt nap, you can save them all. Well, that's even worse. No dirt naps today. It's terrible cover. Our enemies, the cocoon sanctum. They're dreaded Psycom, no less. What's the dread? Psycom's nothing but a whole bunch of bluster and bullying. They've got nothing on Nora. Well, we are the heroes after all. <sighs> Let's prove it. Yeah. yeah. And this is some great lip sync. Sanctum's gonna pay for this. All right. What do you got, Snow? Yeah, let's give him a hand grenade. The guy on the left has the stupidest fucking stance. Guns blazing. Hey, that's not a plan. 
Real heroes don't need plans. Oh my god, they're insufferable. Boy, this guy can really stagger. You see that? You know he can't stand up straight. That's like the worst way to hold. Whoa, that's like the worst way to hold a gun. Like I didn't, e I wasn't even paying attention to it before, but then I lo saw him like fire his gun. Oh boy. you laughing at Don't you kids go follow behind now Oh yeah You see that I did snow I did today we'll clear you a path out of here so be ready wait to... let me fight yeah, with you you can't expect us to just sit here <laughs> could help yep please let us help okay then volunteers front and center here take this one this one. here you go Count Go me for in. It. Here's yours. Take care now. Mom? <laughs> Don't worry. Huh? So I just... Hold it steady. Yeah, yeah, it feels good. Yep, uh, nice. Can you show me again? Uh, you got that's it. That's how it works. <sighs> you sure? Yeah. Moms are tough. Right. It's the last one, boss. Great facial animation. <laughs> Terrible right, line. One. Somebody take it. Yeah. Push comes to shove. Keep him safe. First impression of snow? All <laughs> All right, lay low and you'll be fine. We'll clear out the area. We're going home together! Come on! Everybody up! Right. New recruits, on me! Come on. Right. 
Time to go, kiddo. We're not losing the Psycom, you hear me? Oh, okay. Uh, let's equip you with the Iron Bengal. Okay. Stay sharp. Don't want to make Save. a job of That guy. Oh, so close. Okay, good. The rating is all about time. There's like target time and how long it takes, which is battle duration, and that's where the rating comes from. He's like fucking eight years old, Jesus. Heroes don't run from fights. Time to prove who the heroes are. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna pr time to prove who the heroes are. Get smacked for nine ninety damage. That's so great. Ugh. Beta Behemoth. Uh huh. How about this? Oh, hey, one of them's smart enough to use a potion. Oh, jeez. See? Time wasn't as great. Don't 
told you, didn't I? Moms are tough. Moms are tough. Except when something, you know, blows up behind them. Then the toughness just kind of evaporates. So this entire place... I have no idea where it is, right? Like... Get him home. Please. Hold on! Like, where is this? And I don't mean that in the sense of like... Come on. I mean, one thing that kind of annoys me is when, you know... When there is something that will be explained through context. Like when you first start the game you don't know what a foul C or an or a la C is and it gets explained to you and eventually through the course of the game and it's like oh okay that's what you know like I don't feel like introducing a term means including an encyclopedia with it you know what I mean um so I would not, like, it wouldn't bother me as much if I remembered at some point where this was. That was the idea. What? Sanctum logic. They conjured up courage to eliminate a threat. I mean, why carry the danger all the way to Pulse? Why not just stamp it out here? Execution, masquerading as exile. That's all the purge ever was. <sighs> Relocation to Pulse. How does the government get away with pulling crap like that? And you, you knew this was gonna happen? The purge was Psycom. Private Sanctum troops, not the Guardian Corps. Psycom, mm. Guardian Corps. Soldiers are soldiers, aren't they? Pulse Foul C and their Lassie are enemies of the state. Tell a soldier to kill an enemy, and you really think it's gonna matter what uniform he's wearing? Might have mattered to that one. Couldn't shoot. Got himself shot instead. about you? Hmm? Or to say shoot, you pull the trigger? Fine. Forget I asked. Wait. What? I think the important thing isn't necessarily where this is taking place, but the color palette of it. The color palette is definitely very reminiscent of uh, Final Fantasy VII and Midgar. Like, everything about this entire section is very much reminiscent of Final Fantasy VII and Midgar, right? You play as a soldier that's kind of an asshole, who has, like, one pauldron on their, uh, on their 
body and or on their shoulder and here letting the guy die um and so you, you play as a soldier with uh, a single pauldron who uh, is named after weather phenomena and is kind of a prick and you know you're on this train with uh, a black dude who has a green shirt whose primary weapon is guns and eventually you come to find out that his primary motivation is his kid and you know you have the childhood friend who is very punchy and has a large chest You know, like, it, 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 in many ways, it starts off as, like, what's the word? Like, uh, can I copy your homework? Sure, just make it look like you didn't copy. Like, that kind of a thing. See, nowadays I get made you happy when I smiled, didn't you? But really, I was afraid. I was always afraid. Nowadays I get really I get I get Kiwawa vibes from her. Can't remember her name right now. So how do you figure that post file is different from the sanctums? Mm. Things being equal, I just as soon keep one. Time to jump. Yeah, I know. Hey, 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 hang on! Do you have a thing? Oh my god. Uh. Guy's just been shot. Smack, smack, smack. <laughs> oh, fuck. They didn't yeah. die. They couldn't have died. Of course not. Hey, get a grip, man. What's wrong with you? me that catch
are you doing? So what are you afraid of, huh? You're supposed to be the hero. <laughs> She's waiting there, ain't she? Your lovely bride-to-be? Isn't it about time you picked her up? Yeah. Is our ride. <laughs> now you're talking. How could they? How could they what? Was this power circle? Was a power circle? Hey. Oh, equip. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take that. That's why his... Okay. All right. Come here. Yeah. I was like, I don't remember his back looking like that. And that's his his um, his weapon. Or uh, like, well, his fists are his weapon, but I guess whatever is stitched onto the back of his cloak is his weapon. Shit. The doe's almost dead. Okay. I should probably use some potions. Uh, inventory. Items. Potions. Can I not use them? Hear a thing. Yo, don't go rushing in on your own. Yeah, I gotta get all the things. Oh boy. Hunter Gill. Fantastic. Look, there they are. There who are. Yeah? If you don't know who you've got to save, you just protect them all, right? <laughs> Something on your mind? You got plenty of time for thinking on the way. 
Hero. <sighs> yeah. When do you care about kids? Favor for a friend. Okay. Hey, Snow! He made it! Hey, yo. Whew. So, hey. you really managed to use that thing? <laughs> that thing I'm done. You're done when we are. Ow, what? <laughs> That's the one. <sighs> Didn't you have something to tell him? Yeah. Right then. But I. I'll go with you. What? Oh, you have no idea what it was like. Oh. Everyone's safe? <laughs> the, the army's, army's no, no match, match for Nora. Nora. I meant the kids. <laughs> <laughs> All accounted for. Keep it that way, all right? Uh. I'll swing by the vestige. Keep the kids out of trouble. You got it. Say hi to the missus for me. You go skirt chasing, I take care of the kids. Some husband. <laughs> Dinner's on me. Better be home cooking. When's the wedding, <laughs> lover boy? <laughs> well, don't worry, none of you are invited. We're still hey, going. Hey, you serious? Hey, what about me? Catch you later. Well, I think that's going to be it for the first episode. Uh, I'm going to try and keep these to uh, about an hour a pop. Um, you know. So that... Uh, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to do like... Fucking three hour uploads. An hour seems about right. So, yeah. Thanks for joining me. And uh, I will see you next time. <laughs>